Hey guys, it's Pra from PD Tech HD, and in this video, we're going to take a look at Ice Cream Sandwich on the Vodafone Galaxy S2. So, let's get started. Okay, now first of all, at the time of this uh, video recording, the only way to get the Ice Cream Sandwich update is through Samsung Keys. So just Google that, download the software, and you're good to go. The OTA update will be coming on 17th of April, I believe, so next Tuesday, I think. Um, so yeah, but this is the one showing the keys. I mean, they're essentially the same update. It's just that at this current time, the OTA hasn't been issued yet. But okay, guys, so let's take a look at Ice Cream Sandwich. So first of all, you can see that the lock screen now... This, this may seem familiar to um, normal Galaxy S2 owners, but when you actually, can you see this? So it sort of, it gives you like arrows, so it tells you that you can swipe it in any direction to unlock, whereas before, you just had to swipe it and um, there you go. So basically that was just a text message, so that's how it shows on the lock screen. To normally unlock it without any notifications, you can see again, it just shows you that nice kind of animation for the padlock. So that's with the lock screen. Um, so now you can see on the... Uh, let me zoom in a bit. On the um, actual home screen, there's a Google bar. Now, this Google bar is actually removable. So, um, that's quite good because in the stock ICS on my Desire one, um, let me show you uh, which home screen is it. Uh, hang on, let's bring that in focus. Okay, it's not really focusing, but basically there, that's the Google bar and I can't remove it or anything. So, it's nice that on the um, on Samsung's ice cream sandwich you can remove it of course to re-add it you just go to widgets um, and then find a Google search uh, where is it there okay and there you guys added it well I added it to another home screen but um, yeah so you can just add it okay there it is yeah it's there <clears throat> now you can clearly see um, let me zoom in a bit on the Roboto font so there we go it's in focus now so you can see that like the whole um, the whole operating system kind of thing has been revamped with this nice robot font and it really does look good. You really need to see it with your eyes to believe it. It does it, does it really uh, good justice, especially on this beautiful display. Uh, one thing I wanted to show you, I'm not sure if this was in the previous version of um, TouchWiz, but basically you can hold down on the number. So for example, it says 1 there. So what we do is um, we hold down the 1 and you can scroll through your home screens really fast. So I like that kind of animation thing. I'm not sure if that was there in the gingerbread one because I never really tested that. But it's just something I noticed when I updated yesterday. So it's just a fast way to get to your home screens. Obviously you can also pinch to zoom out and then like move your home screens as you wish. Sort of like senses um, helicopter view in a way. Um, so what else did I want to talk about? Okay, the revamp notifications bar. Whoops, that's not what. There, the notifications bar. So you can see... Uh, if the camera wants to focus a bit, okay. It's got a whole kind of like polish over it, so the icons look a lot more refined and much more clear. Um, and now with notifications, this has finally come to the Galaxy S2 because it's got ICS, you can swipe away notifications. So for example here, you can see that on WhatsApp, Jack sent me this message, Sauce. <laughs> so I can just swipe it away like that. I can swipe away Facebook that way and Twitter, and there you go, they're all gone. And obviously you've also got the clear button um, that you saw a few minutes ago. And it just looks a whole lot more polished, like the revamped um, notification bar, as I said. You can also do it in landscape, um, I believe. Okay, maybe not. Uh, wait, hang on, is this... No, maybe you can't do it in landscape. Okay, so you can't do landscape notification bar, that kind of sucks, but... Anyway, um, let's see, app drawer. Okay, so with the app drawer, it's kind of been um, revamped again because you've got this nice, um, like the home screen scrolling thing. Again, I don't know if this was in the previous version of TouchWiz, so if it was, then it's nothing new, but to me it's kind of new. So, um, yeah, but something that is new is you can now pinch out and then you've got like all your apps um, there so you can move this around, like put that app before that one. I mean, that set of apps before that set of apps and so on. Um, updated settings, so... Let's look, take a look at the settings, and you can see that the new toggles there for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and so on. Um, let's see, so the updated toggles, uh, what did I want to show? Oh yeah, data usage. Now, with Ice Cream Sandwich, the good thing is you don't need any sort of third-party app like 3G Watchdog Pro or anything. I mean, that's a great app, but with Ice Cream Sandwich, you really don't need it because you can just set your usage within um, the stock, well, not stock, within this sort of, um, within this app. So what you do is you turn it on, and then it gives you a red and an orange bar. So the red bar is your absolute maximum. And your yellow bar is when it will start warning you. Or orange bar, whatever you want to call it. 
and then basically you can just move that down and up as you wish and same with that one and it shows you which apps are using the most bandwidth so in this case Google Music is using the most bandwidth um, I will come back on to talk about Google Music in a bit but basically it just gives you a list of all the apps that are using your bandwidth and how much they're using okay so taking a look at the applications in the settings um, this has got a bit of a revamp I thought um, it's probably looking a lot more polished in terms of uh, the menus at the top it just looks a lot cleaner um, and I think that was it that I wanted to mention on that go into the settings um, to actually prove that this is ice cream sandwich let's go to wrong one about phone and you can see Android version 4.0.3 and now it wouldn't be an ice cream sandwich video without showing you the Easter egg so let's do that so you just keep tapping on the version number uh, hang on okay and then what you do is you hold down this and there you go, it's sort of like a Nyan cat of um, ice cream sandwich so that's pretty cool, Google's always included that in um, stock ICS so any phone that gets ICS should have this easter egg it's just kind of a nice feature um, okay so going back to security for a second uh, this does have face and lock because there is a front facing camera and I have tested this, I'm not going to demo this on video right now but it does work well but again people have said that's very easy to trick it and I did find that I could open it with just a photo or something I just put a photo up to the camera and it um, recognized it so it's not that secure to be honest um, now I want to talk about some apps in um, that, uh, that ice cream sandwich allows you to get the first of which being Chrome Beta so let's open up Chrome Beta there okay now Chrome Beta is basically like what well, you must know of Google Chrome the web browser Chrome Beta is basically Chrome for Android and it's really good because um, it can sync your current open tabs and um, a lot more features. I will do a proper full review on that um, down the line. But basically, um, the new way of like switching through tabs looks really cool. It's like this card effect, and you can close tabs by just swiping them to the left or to the right, and so on. Um, the browser overall, like in terms of if it's better than the stock or not, well, I kind of prefer it because uh, one thing that I really like is um, let's find a thing with a lot of links. So, for example. Uh, this isn't exactly the best uh, best example, but basically it would have like a cloud of links so um, something like contact us and stuff like that and then what happens is okay let's see if it works now nah, it's gonna go to the actual one basically it's like you tap on it and then it will give you like a zoomed in view of those uh, three or four options so you can clearly see which one you want to tap but um, that's enough of Chrome Beta um, I will do a proper video on that sometime uh, the next application I want to talk about with ICS is Google Music. Now again, this is only for US, so if you want to know how I got this being in the UK, um, just PM me or leave a comment, um, I might make a video on it. But it's pretty cool because it's the actual ICS version of um, Google Music, so I'll show you that. Let's just go to settings, settings, and you can see that the version number 4.1.513, that's the latest version. Before this, there is like a... There is a gingerbread APK that you can flash, so if you are using gingerbread, there is an APK that you can flash to get Google Music, but since I've got ICS, um, I flashed the ICS APK and it worked perfectly. One thing that I don't like about the Google Music, I think on the Samsung, maybe because it's not supported in the UK yet, is that there's no lock screen widget for Google Music. So for example, let me, why is Facebook opening? Let me, um, let me open play music again, let's just play this song. Um, I have got the volume on mute so it doesn't play in the video, but basically let's just have it playing okay so you can see it's playing and then when we lock the screen you don't see anything whereas on the desire let's do the same thing so let's open up Google Music and again this is exactly the same version of Google Music so play again this one's on mute and let's lock the device and you can see on the lock screen that there is kind of like a, um, a previous track pause next track kind of widget on the lock screen so I really like that not sure why Samsung doesn't have that but yeah that's what it is. Um, what else did I want to talk about? Um, let's see, swipe. Okay, now Galaxy S2 comes with swipe pre installed, but obviously with this ICS, you get the updated swipe. So let me show you that by composing a text message. Um, so, for example, at the moment it's not on swipe. This is actually the stock ICS keyboard, but to change it, you just go here, select the input method, and you change it to when the camera wants to focus, swipe. And so now this is the new version of Swipe with the uh, drag and go voice dictation. Again, I will do a proper video on this sometime. And thanks to eCartman12 for telling me about Swipe. Um, his link will be in the description. But basically, there's a way to get Swipe Beta for any device, not just if your uh, device comes pre-installed with it like the Galaxy S2 does. 
so stay tuned for that video. <laughs> it sounds like I'm plugging too many future videos in this video, but moving on, basically, so swipe, like you can swipe and um, type something. So for example, okay, so that typed in Sheriff, that was kind of random, I didn't mean to do that, but let's type like hello, for example. So that should be hello. Whoops. Okay, well, it kind of, it's kind of hard to do it when you're on camera as well, but nah. Um, but it does, it works pretty well. Let me see, hello. Nah. I don't know why it's not working now, hang on, uh, let me try and do it well. Okay, there you go, it said hello. So, it is quite accurate, and with the voice dictation, it's quite powerful. Um, let me show you quickly. Hi, how are you? Question mark. And there you go, it picked up the question mark, and like, it picks up commas, full stops, and all that, so swipe is really, really, like, come into its own now, especially after being bought by, um... What's the company? Nuance or something? The, the people that actually did uh, Drag and Go voice dictation, they bought Swipe for 100 million last year. So they've incorporated it into the ICS um, for, the, uh, for, 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 for devices that come with Swipe pre-installed like the Galaxy S2. Okay, um, one big thing, uh, well, while I was using it on Gingerbread, I found that it was really hard to screenshot. Like for those of you with Gingerbread, you probably still know this, you have to hold down the home button and the sleep wake button at the same time and then let go and then somehow it sort of screenshots whereas on ICS you just hold it down and it takes the screenshot really easily so it's, it's a lot easier to screenshot like if I want to screenshot the notification bar just hold it down boom there you go there's the screenshot so and it gives you a notification there as well uh, one thing I do want to point out is before when you used to screenshot it used to go to um, let's go to the gallery this is probably going to be quite a long video guys so just bear with okay basically before it used to go to this folder the screen capture folder but now it goes to screenshots folder so um, yeah that's just something to notice and finally guys the main thing about ICS um, is basically multitasking so let me show you how that works so you just hold down the home button and you've got this um, ICS style of multitasking so you can just swipe away up similar to the Chrome beta when you're closing tabs and you can just navigate to them and what's nice is the thumbnail it shows is actually the current state. So for example, here in Temple Run, you can see that I haven't even loaded the game because this is just like the loading screen. Um, so yeah, guys, just before I finish, I want to just mention some bad points that I've noticed about the um, ICS ROM. So the bad things I've noticed uh, with this ICS update is you can't resize the Gmail widget. So let me show you that. Um, let's just add the widget. And let's go to Gmail. Whoops, uh, wrong home screen, hang on. Uh, where's Gmail? Again, there we go, Gmail. Um, so I'm just going to choose that account. Uh, inbox. What happened there? Whoops, I think I cancelled it. Let's do that again. Inbox. Okay, so there's the widget. And basically, you can't resize it. So if I hold it down, it doesn't let me resize it. The only widgets that are resizable are like the Samsung widgets. So for example, like this email you can see that there's sort of like an arrow there, so that indicates that you can resize it. But on the Gmail one, you can't resize it, which is a shame because it would be nice to have this full view on this gorgeous display. Uh, another thing I've noticed is there's no ICS style folders, so in normal ICS, um, when you put an icon over another one, it automatically makes a folder. With this Samsung TouchWiz UI, you can't, the only way to make a folder is to do it manually, so you have to, um, let's find an empty space on the home screen, and you have to go down here where it says add to home folders, so, and what it looks like isn't that good to be honest, it looks like, whoops, wrong one, one second, it looks like this, I mean this doesn't look that appealing as opposed to the stock ICS, uh, let me just quickly make a folder, okay wait, I've got one open here, so you see what I mean, so this folder, like look, this is the one on TouchWiz, and this is the one on stock ICS, so this one looks a whole lot better, in my opinion, so it's kind of a shame that Samsung had to kind of get rid of that with their TouchWiz, um, the final point I want to make, because this video is getting quite long, is that I did experience two random reboots with this uh, software, so I'm not sure if this is just a temporary glitch, I'm sure it will be fixed with a, um, a minor software update in the future, but it's just something to watch out for. Um, overall guys, hope you've enjoyed this uh, ICS video on the S2, please let me know what you thought of it, sorry if it got too long, I just really wanted to sort of explore in detail and say what's really good and what's bad about it. Um, you can clearly see that the good outweighed the bad, so I would recommend updating to this. Um, you can wait for the OTA update on 17th of April, or you can download it now using keys. And if you need help on that, just send me a PM or leave a comment on this video, because I have done it yesterday, so I know what I'm doing. 
But basically guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below in the comment what you thought of this. Um, if you've got a device, um, what feature, like if you've got a non-ICS device, what feature of ICS are you most looking forward to? And if you've got ICS, what do you wish that Samsung brought? Like for example, for me, it would be that I wish they brought the folders from ICS and the, um, the Gmail widget. Overall though guys, just the one final point is the Gmail app on ICS has finally come. Like, oh my God, I love this app so much, the ICS version. The Gmail version was just complete pants to be honest. Like the Gmail version, they've really done a great job of, um, I mean the ICS version, sorry. So I'm really happy that that's come to the S2 now uh, with the ICS update. Um, yeah guys, but that's enough from me. Um, this is sort of like how the layout of my home screens is. This is like a picture frame widget. This was all in the previous version of TouchWiz. But um, the YouTube widget's new. I think the browser widget's probably been revamped a bit. But anyway, guys, please let me know down below uh, what you thought. Uh, please be sure to leave a like on this video. Uh, please be sure to subscribe to the channel because I will have a full review of this device uh, coming up in the next few days. Um, this That was going to be the next video, but it's because ICS came, so I thought I may as well do a video on that. But um, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, please be sure to check out my last video, which was a... Uh, what was it? I can't even remember now. Was it a case review? No, the comparison, yeah. It was a comparison between the S2 and the Desire in terms of um, UI, speed, and camera, I think. Yeah, so that will be on your screens now. So just click that annotation and that will take you to that video. But yeah, guys, sorry for this video being so long. Hope you've enjoyed it. And if you watch till the end, uh, you're a legend. Thanks a lot. And um, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.